In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create some animated platforms. Now, it's something that's actually really easy to do, but well worth having a go because it does add something extra to your games. So in front of us, we have a very simple scene. I have platform one here on the left and platform two on the right. And all I need to do is I'm going to select platform one. I'm going to add a child node. I'm going to make this an animation player and create. Now this opens this animation panel down here. I'm going to click on where it says animation and new. Now this is going to be my horizontal animation. And what I want to do here is I'm going to drag this playhead back to zero. I'm going to set the length of my track to four seconds. So where it says one here, I'm going to change that to about four. You can choose whatever you wish. I'm going to click on platform one again. And over on the right hand side here, under the transform section here, you'll notice we've got these little keys here. So I'm going to press on the key next to my position to add a keyframe and create. You can see here under platform one, the position we now have this keyframe. So at zero seconds, my platform is going to be here. Now at four seconds, I also want it to be in the same position. So I'm going to click on the keyframe again. And then at two seconds, I want my platform to be over here somewhere. So with the playhead set at two seconds, in my position here, I'm going to adjust the X position. Let me just try something like 350. And that seems reasonable. Now I do need to click on the keyframe. So what I, ha I have, if I move this playhead, you can see the animation taking part there. Okay, so what we need to do next is I want this to play when the scene loads. So I want it to auto start. And I can do that by clicking on this little icon here. And I also want it to loop, so keep going. And there's this little loop icon here, so I'll click on that. Let's go ahead and play the scene. And here we can see the platform moving left and moving right. And that keeps looping. Now let's have a look at this platform here. I want to make that one move vertically. And hopefully you could probably have a go at this without uh, watching the rest of the video. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. So in platform two, add a child node, animation player. Click on animation down here and new. And this one is going to be a vertical animation. Again, I'm going to make sure my playhead is at zero. I'm going to change the time, let's say three or four seconds. Let's go for four again. And now what I want to do is click on platform two and over here in the transform uh, inspection panel here is click on the keyframe and create. So at zero seconds, it's here. At four seconds, I want it to be in the same position. So playhead at four and click on the keyframe again. Go to two seconds and decide where do I want this platform to be at two seconds. Well, this time it's going to be the Y direction. Now the Y is set at 297 here. I want it to move up. So remember that when we move up, we are subtracting. So I want this to be maybe, I don't know, 150. Yeah, it seems reasonable. And again, click on the keyframe to add that in. So if we just move the playhead, you can see that animation taking place there. Okay, as before though, we want it to auto start, which is this icon here. And we also want it to loop, which is this icon here. Now, if I play that, and there we have our two platforms. Now, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, just give me a quick thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when I release the next video, then hit the subscribe button and click on that little notification bell.